I'd say that Hadley did a really good job. Um, <laughs> well, the first, I had to make up after the first one. I didn't really head the ball. And then the ball came across um, from the front post there, and I was just in the right place at the right time and just had to do that clinical finishing. So that's it was a really easy tap in. And I would say my goal was all about the front post run. Um, I saw Alex running down the line with the ball. She had her head up. She was going to cross it. So got front post. Crossed it, got a foot on it, got the goal. Yes, on both of those plays, um, you see Alex going to the corner. Is that something you guys practice a bunch in practice? Oh, yeah. Um, just oh, yeah. Rob's really pass. big on turning the corner, taking the player on 1v1. That's like one of the best ways that you can penetrate the back line is just by getting behind them, taking it down the corner. And that's how you make things unpredictable for the, the defense that you're going up against. Okay. If you look at our Butler game versus this game, you can see that turning the corner made a huge difference. Butler, we didn't turn the corner very much, and we didn't have much of an attack, but this game was completely different, and it's all because of that. Did you feel like Tennessee Martin played a more wide-open style than maybe Butler did, or did that have as big of an impact? Um, as a forward, I definitely felt a difference. Butler was on my back almost the whole time, applying first pressure really fast. Tennessee Martin kind of backed off, and I was able to find a lot of space. And that's coming from a forwards position. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would say um, compared to the Butler game, they were high pressure from the very beginning. But in this game, we kind of showed our 1v1 capability. So that made them kind of back off of the wide forward and like Hadley and the other center forwards. So we were just able to get more space off of that just by showing our strengths and being able to take them on. I remember Chinny's goal now. Um, yeah, it was Alex who crossed it in, right? Yeah, yeah, Alex Harrison right. crossed it in, you crossed and the I did a near post run, and Chinny did a great far post run. Um, the ball got through to her, and she had great composure and finished it. So what's the key going into Sunday? You know, it'll be third game in uh, basically five days. I would say a lot of it's going to be mental for everyone. Um, this is like a first time, I know for me, playing three games in one week. And, you know, it's, it's tough, like, having to... Um, Go through, go through that physically, but I think we're all capable of doing it. We've been really fit coming in, so mm -hmm. we go That's home, we take care of our bodies, and we bring the same energy, and we try to get a streak going. And we'll be good playing at home, too, so, yeah. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think the biggest difference tonight from, say, Wednesday night was the intensity of pressure that we put on the ball. Um, first person defending, we got tight, we uh, were committed to closing the next pass, um, and I felt like we did a really good job as a team defending, probably for about 60 minutes. I think uh, for about 20 minutes in the first half we fatigued a little, but I thought we kept that pressure up far better in the second half of the game. Um, I think it eliminated uh, a lot of uh, opportunities, and counterattacking opportunities, and when there were things, you know, you had someone like Kamel Casella with her first collegiate start, uh, really holding down the defensive midfielder position for us, and with timely tackles and simple distribution. I, I, I thought things clicked well for us in that way um, and we put a ton of pressure on their back line with our, our attackers and I think that's one thing. If we can get the defensive pressure from our backs in our midfield, I really believe we've got a forward line that can score goals. Okay. Um, when you said that, it seemed like the team today, at least, they, they had a lot of opportunities, but they didn't convert. Right. Um, what can you do going forward? So you know, well, we, we're going to have to spend more time in front of the goal. I mean, you know, we left a team in the game that uh, then perhaps with a single mistake, you know, with 10 minutes left, you find it you're in a 2-1 game, and now it's all hands on deck with you defending. And so, you know, we've got to do a better job of converting the opportunities. When you've got someone like Hadley Seward consistently turning the corner, pulling balls back across the face, you know, Alex Harrison doing it from the other side, we've just got to find people that are going to get in the box and get their foot to the ball. And so certainly, you know, um, this next week we'll probably spend some time in front of goal trying to do that, come, you know, build their confidence and ensure that we organize and orchestrate um, uh, you know, our forwards runs, our midfielders runs in the box and ensure that it's as organized as possible to give ourselves first chances and second chance opportunities. Okay.